Hi. Well, I've decided to make some soap. And perhaps it's not the most original soap. This is going to be peppermint leaf and eucalyptus leaf. There have been many soaps made using either eucalyptus oil uh, or eucalyptus fragrance oil or peppermint essential oil or fragrance oil. But I want to make it out of the pure product. And, and I'm not suggesting that essential oil is not. It is part of the leaf. But I want to make it with the whole product. So you're not only getting the benefit of the oils, but of the other benefits from the leaves as well. There's a lot of research on, and I really strongly suggest that you do your own research. Uh, don't take my word, don't take any other soaper's word for this. You, you are responsible for your own education, I believe, when it comes to the benefits of anything. I don't want to give you any medical advice. But what I am saying is that using the whole product, it's just like eating whole foods in many ways. Um, Many nutritionists suggest that eating the whole food rather than a processed food uh, is much better for you. Um, eat the peel of that apple. Eat the, uh, if you can get buy it and you're eating organic, eat the peel of your oranges, your, uh, your uh, carrots. Eat those peels. Eat the whole food. Eat your grains. Eat your whole grains, right? This is the kind of advice we get. Now, that doesn't mean that in a soap, obviously, that you need all those products. Obviously, um, it'd be like sandpaper <laughs> if we used only whole products in our soap. But, be, but because I have used each of these independently before and had fantastic success, and in combination with other things, I thought, why not try them together and see if I can get that fantastic scent that we get from uh, mint and eucalyptus and soap and if so I think this is going to be a real winner. Now, I'm going to grind these into a powder so I, I'm not you won't have them whole in the soap. <laughs> I'll put them in here and of course grind them up as I often do. You can see this is well used. Um, so I will grind these into a fine powder before putting them into the soap. Obviously this is going to be a primarily a green soap. All right it's just a very I'm gonna keep this as natural as I can using just these two items as additives so no additional fragrance no additional color all right so let's get started so I ran this through a bit longer here and I want you to see that it has oh, let me move over here that it has powdered much better I spent a little more time, I just left it, ignored the stinky uh, motor, and it actually did take this to a much finer powder this time. I just wanted to let you see that, sorry. <laughs> okay, so I'm here um, just melting my, got the final, final melt on my coconut, uh, my, wow, coconut oil. <laughs> I've got my olive oil. I've got my, in this case, I'm using some sunflower oil to lighten it up just a little bit. And to super fat at 5%, I'm adding in some shaved butter. So I'm just adding that into these warm oils. So I'm to make sure all that goodness gets in there. That's that good stuff. So in a moment, I'll add in my lye water here. So what I'm going to do actually before I add in my lye water I'm going to add in these wonderful herbs. Okay and again this is the peppermint and the fresh eucalyptus leaf. Nothing else. So this is going to absorb <coughs> and create a cloud. And not a cloud you want to breathe in, mint and eucalyptus, unless you have a uh, respiratory issue and you need to clear out your sinuses. <laughs> okay. So 
So you can see that's turning very green. That's that peppermint. Now, this soap, I'm not... I want to be very clear that this may turn brown once it's cured. Natural products sometimes do that after they go through the saponification process. But you know what's in it ahead of time. And if you could smell this eucalyptus and you could smell this peppermint, this is just amazing. So I'm now going to give this, I'm going to put the stick on this for just a moment. I want to make sure that this is nice and well blended. I'm going to add in my lye water now. I knew it would thicken up quickly because of the botanicals in here, but I'm not doing any swirls, no patterns, nothing like that. And actually I want this rather thick so it will suspend the uh, mint and the eucalyptus throughout the soap. Look at that color, isn't that lovely? But like I said, this will turn brown so it's not going to be a real pretty soap. But it is going to be a wonderfully luxurious soap with the butters in it and the uh, the herbs that are in it. It's going to be fantastic. I, I'm really looking forward to this one myself. This is doing some strange things here. I think it's fine, but it just it looks very peculiar. There's a glossiness around the edge, which is why I'm continuing to mix this. And now it's starting to look like baby, just baby. Just <laughs> I love using natural products, I truly do. And sometimes you can end up with some really interesting, interesting is the word I'm going to use, colors and textures. Okay, I think I've done enough with the stick for today. Or for this, for this set. And I'm just going to do a little blending with the, wow, look at that. Okay, I would say We've got a pretty good blend going on here. All right, good, good, good. So you don't, you do not, by the way, you do not make a soap like this for the beauty of it. Uh, <laughs> this is all about the result. And I want you to look at how thick this is. It is not even moving. This is like a hot process. <laughs> you kind of plop it in. So I'm sorry if I'm blocking in the light here. I love the smell. This just smells so sweet. That peppermint is coming through. That color though is got it is disgusting looking. Okay. Uh, you know, I don't think there's much more I'm going to be able to do with that. Uh, I may texture it a little bit. I don't know what the point is. I guess I could put a little on the top. Gosh, isn't that awful looking? <laughs> I did that color. Oh, my. Mm. Okay, I'm just going to spread that down. Maybe not adding anything more to this. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm tickled. This is just, uh, I'm okay with it being thick, you know, that it thickened up. I, I'm okay with that. I get that. Anytime you use herbs, things are going to absorb the, the oils. A lot of people suggest pre-soaking those, you know, but then again, that adds to your overall uh, liquid anyway. So I don't know. It's half one or the other. So, yuck. 
So what I'm going to do is just let this rest and um, yuck, I'm getting this stuff all over me. This is like amateur night. Okay. And I'm going to, I've got plenty here, so I'm actually going to do a second one. I'll see you at the cutting. Okay, thank you. Okay, so after much stress <laughs> over the ugly baby poo soap, I now have uh, what appears to be uh, a large brown chocolate bar. And that's where we're going to go with this. Um, on the top, I did try to texture it a little bit and I put some eucalyptus leaf and some peppermint which I pressed down in there. The eucalyptus leaf is kind of light on the top so it didn't stick as well. But that's okay. I'm, I'm going with it. And this has, as so many of my soaps do, has several botanicals in it. Well it only has two but it has a lot of it. You know, It has the peppermint and it has the eucalyptus. So. This is very, very, uh, um, what's the word I'm trying to think of? Thick. <laughs> with, with botanicals. As such, it's going to be just a little bit, um, I'm sure there are going to be some scrapes through it. I don't know why I'm having trouble talking tonight. So there it is. Kind of reminiscent of a candy bar. Much better than <laughs> the way it was. Um, that yellow was just quite unattractive, I thought. Um, but let me cut a few more bars here. It's not going to vary too much because, like I said, there are no swirls. There's um, no kind of design in this, so it's not going to be real showy. But boy, does it smell terrific. Hi, Rosie. Hi, Rose. Do you like this soap? How much? You do? I like it too. I have at least one really great fan here. Thank you, honey. I appreciate that. So, I'm lay a few of these out here for you and just give you the grand presentation. There's, they're not too showy. You know, I'm going to be the first to admit that. There is not much to look at with these. Uh, and I wish they weren't as dark as they are, but they are. Hey, so what are we going to do, right? That's what they are. They smell wonderful. They... And I know that they will be quite lovely to use. I'm really looking forward to these myself. So thank you all so much, and I'll see you back for the next one. Bye-bye. I wanted to show you one other thing that you may be aware of and you may not be, so I'll make you aware. I want you to be able to see this really well. Let me get a light over here actually on it. Okay, that may be too bright, actually. Can you see that? Can you see those track lines through there? That is caused by it dragging the botanicals through the soap. One fix for that is I have a piece of uh, plastic cutting board. I've got it cut in a circle. I use this at the end of my pipe mold. But let me show you a little trick. When the soap is still soft like this, what you can do is take this and simply make small circles on the top of the soap. And that soft, softened soap will fill in those lines. Now, you may not be able to get all of them. You may have to play with it a little bit. But this takes out a lot of the tracks. So now you may still have a few like here. I have a couple of small holes here. But I can just work this in. And you can see 
that the tracks have now pretty much disappeared. 